Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to Osmophia. When we last left off, we were still working our way through Karmia's um, path. So, we'll see how this goes. But uh, now we're back here, talking with him again. After the, uh, the incident where Axel got captured, and we got captured trying to save Axel, and then there was a huge bloody battle. That was fun. Either way, I'm sorry, Mr. Karmia. Yes, um, it's about Sunday. Yeah, that. I thought you guys weren't going to save Axel. Well, now you say that. But when it happened... That's fair. Oh. Really? I didn't notice. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> oh, really? That's fair. <laughs> of course. Okay. I'll be more careful. Oh, I guess I do kind of have to, even though, like, uh, you actually get into Caesar's route and he's actually not that bad a guy. Axel got all beat up, though. Yeah, I lucked out. That's fair. Yeah, I'm glad to. Oh, god damn it, it's Kiri again. Hello, Mr. Kiri! Yeah, what do you want? Stop insulting poor everybody. You're just very rude. Okay, bye then! <sighs> I kind of liked the other tune a little bit better once we got closer to the end, but it that's fine. Hmm. The morning sun shone through the window, rousing her from her slumber. She slowly opened her eyes to now familiar sight of the ceiling coming into view. Well, it's morning. Emily sat up and stretched. I guess this is my fourth week here now. She woke just as she had on that day in the back alley, but this time she retained her memories of only from the past four weeks. I wonder if I'll ever figure it out. That's a good question. We, know, we didn't really get that touch in... Caesar's route, but I, maybe if we actually get through every ending, maybe we'll see. She has so much of a fragment of the memories she must have lost. To her, it felt as though she never had any to begin with. Yeah, I'm sure it'll work out somehow. It's fine. There wasn't anything she could do about what she didn't know. All she could do was trust in her precious present and future. I hope today is a wonderful day. Let's hope so too, because uh, we want you to be happy. Hello, Mr. Carby and Mr. Kiri. I'm trying to remember if this is a bit I've already seen or not. We'll see. Mr. Kiri? Um... <laughs> the game predicted me there. Oh? She turned around to find Axel standing behind her, a grouchy expression on his face. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's good. Okay. Hi. Uh. Alright, yeah, I think we're heading into an old territory. Yeah. It's weird that they've tried to push me to romance her while well, him while. Well, eh. Okay, yeah, this is the bit where we're like, Hi, could you not... Like... Yeah, he's a strange... I can't quite put him down, he's a strange person. 
Yeah, this is where you guys are uh, starting to bond a little bit, and you guys are like, Nah, we're just gonna go past the Mr. and Miss thing. We're just gonna skip right over that. Stop staring at me, you creepy scarecrow man. But yeah, I recall this. Yeah, what do you plan to do with me? Oh yeah, the beauty pageant bit, that's right. I don't want to be in your... Okay, well, I'll give it a shot, fine. I don't want to do it. It's a little embarrassing, but fine, I'll give it a shot. Alright, this is the beauty pageant section. That's right. So we'll just skip past this as best we can. And now we're here looking for dresses. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. And then we realize, oh, Scarlet is a boy. So we keep going past this. And we're still looking at dresses, and we're looking, and we're looking, and we're shopping, and then we look over there, and then there's a pretty red one that I really would like to wear, but obviously I cannot. There's so many good dresses there, I really like all of them, and then we're like, Hi Scarlet, how are you? Why don't you attend the pageant? I'm a boy. Oh! How did I not know? I mean, to be fair, Red Riding Hood is usually uh, represented as girls, so it's just kind of weird to us in this situation. I thought it was kind of obvious, but it's, yeah, okay. So now we just talk with Carmi again. Isn't that... Why is he hanging out with them? Yeah, it's Mr. Carmia. It's Sunday, so that means we can talk to members of other familia, right? I guess Mr. Carmia probably has a lot of friends. He looks like he's having so much fun. I wonder what they're talking about. They're totally talking about food. Carmia turned toward her. He must have noticed she was looking at him. Oh, okay. When he beckoned her toward him, it was as if they, the very gesture reeled her in. Mr. Carmia! Camilla smiled from ear to ear and clapped Emily on the back. Ow! You should talk, girl. You're very tiny and you have a bird. I don't see you entering the tournament or the pageant, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I am. Yeah, we know how well you win. Mm hmm. Alright. I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to lose. You should talk, girl. You're pretty conceited yourself. Well, then you have no reason to complain, girl. Just saying. L again, little girl, I'm pretty sure that you're younger. Uh, perhaps this is a little late, but please don't be too hard on me. You don't go easy on anyone, I'm assuming, so... Thought so. This is going well. Yeah, I was gonna say... <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, that, like, all these different... ...familias are s at war with each other, but then... ...they're actually... ...pleasant with each other to some extent, which is kind of funny. But, eh... ...what do I know? Thanks! I'm gonna try my best, but... ...what exactly am I supposed to do? Okay, that's fair. 
Oh, no, it's not. Oh, the family of Boss, they are all in a photo of Stays in a car. Don't go, guys, and I got. Oh, says an actor. Oh, Joe, some of Hong Tony Kawaiyo. Well, for some girls, it's hard to take a compliment, just saying. All right, so. I think you're much cuter, Mr. Carmia. <laughs> I mean exactly what I said. You're adorable with your smile, especially your little fangs. I think you're much cuter than me. Mm, really? But you're so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny thing. Usually with guys, they're not used to being called cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the day of the pageant, a single cloud obscured the clear blue sky. Time to go look pretty! Let's actually... I, I do really like her dress for this, though. I will give you that. But either way, time to head to the pageant. Obviously, we are going with uh, Carmia. Yes, I have you to thank for that. Carmia smiled, giving her a satisfied nod as he looked her over. I oh, really thank you. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah, that's adorable. Carmia smiled as he looked at her. With him so close to her, it took her a moment to realize she was holding her breath. Oh no, that's not it. You're just so damn cute. <laughs> She shook her head as if to say, it's nothing. Here's the quizzical eyebrow, but turned around without commenting. Alrighty then. Time to look pretty and gorgeous and do my best. But where is your, where's your uh, beloved, where is your beloved Juliet? I want to see my competition. Oh, hi, Heidi. I wish we could learn more about her. Just saying. Peter interests me for some reason. Just like, she's so silent and creepy at the same time. Let's be embarrassed. I guess uh, they are a little small. Oh, you're talking about your boobs, right? Honey, trust me, the size doesn't matter that much. <laughs> she put her hands on her chest and hung her head. Axel shook his head and snapped at it when he noticed Emily's demeanor. <laughs> Axel? <laughs> yeah, don't... Trust me, big boobs are not the, the most important thing. Just saying. If someone likes you, the size of it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway. Where are Mr. Kami and Mr. Kiri going? Ah, oh, well, thanks. Is it dangerous? Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, ex. Chase. Er. Yes, hello, Caesar. How you doing, handsome? We were a thing in another route. Oh, hi, it's, uh, it's Heidi again. Na, Hallucinating? Ooh! <laughs> and then, then Peter decides to start fighting with Caesar. And then it's like, okay, bye. And then we're just kind of like, eh, go ahead, have fun with that. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. He won't hurt me. At least I don't think he will. He didn't in the route I was romancing him, so... And then we realize, oh, so is working with Caesar. That's interesting. Didn't know that one. Oh, man. I feel slightly betrayed. But not really. And then I am back. And then the pageant is already done.
again, it's just eerily shocking how similar that ju that chairman slash judge looks like Lantern. But either way, I won. Because, like... No, seriously, Juliet could have really done well. I would have voted for that goose slash duck. I'm not sure if it's a duck or a goose. I'm pretty sure it's a duck. But still, I would have voted for that duck. It's like, give the prize to that duck. So, yes, we, we did that. Hi guys! How you doing? I'm going to bed. I won! Mr. Curie did tell me I should accept it. Thank you very much! She shook off her hesitation and smiled. Hee <laughs> hee Yeah, I won on a technicality because of a duck. It's really the main thing. Let's face it, that, that's probably the only reason I won. Let's just go with that. Man, we're breezing through this faster than I expected. So, let's see. Where am I on this? Okay, I'm only on week five, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna save here for now. And we'll, uh, catch back up on this in another part. Because we are... Surprisingly getting through this faster than I expected. But to be fair, I'm not reading every bit of dialogue, because I'm trying to get through some of the more... other things. But yeah, I'm up to week five now, so... We're moving along pretty good. It's still amazing, I got like so many characters to deal with, and I still have to finish up his roots a little bit. That much I gotta do, because there was that one bit I still need to get on his route. But then, like, I got, like, I think two or three with him. Two or three with him. Two or three with him. And I got this one, this one, and a few others. It's crazy how much I gotta do. But, again, a lot of them I'm gonna end up doing off-screen. And the chunk that I am gonna do, I'm probably just gonna do at least one of each character for the LP. And then we can worry about getting to the main plot of this. So, we'll see what happens. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching and have a fond farewell. <laughs>